this video, I'm going to show you how to add that sweet printer grunge texture and color to your videos. We're going to be using my brand new Xerox plugin, which allows you to get those results in just one click. It also allows you to precisely edit the grunges by specific RGB channels. And if you're already a MXM user, trust me, this one is going to be right up your alley. If you want to grab yourself a copy of the Xerox plugin, make sure to check the first link in the description down below where you'll find the plugin as well as all my other tools and assets. Now let's get into how to install and use the Xerox plugin. The first thing you want to do is download and install the AEScripts ZXP installer and drag and drop the Xerox file into it. Once it's installed, we can open After Effects and go to Windows extension Xerox to launch the plugin. We'll now need to activate it and to do so, we're going to click the three bars, click the activate Xerox button. And as you can see, we're going to need to enter our first name, last name and the email we used for our purchase. Make sure not to make any typos or else it's not going to work. And if you forgot the credentials you use, you can always refer to your order confirmation email. But as you can see, when we hit OK, the plugin was activated successfully. We can now import a piece of footage and make sure to create a 4K timeline if you want the optimal results when it comes to Xerox. I'm just going to quickly adjust the scale setting of my clip to make it match the timeline. And once that's looking good, we can hit the refresh button. You should now see your comp pop up in the panel and we can go ahead and select it and hit the confirm button. Right away, the Xerox plugin does its thing and we have a really cool looking grunge. But let me give y'all a tour of the panel. So at the top, we have the RGB mode. You can switch it to mono, which is going to change everything to black and white. We're going to stick to RGB for this video, but this knob is the main knob. It controls the threshold based on each individual RGB channels. But just know that you can hit the little locker and change everything all at once. I pretty much always start off by dialing the stretch and scale knobs all the way down. To move the knobs around, you can use your mouse scroll wheel and to do precise adjustments you can also hold control on your keyboard while scrolling the wheel and it's going to go up by one increment even though i always leave it on 8 fps just know you can change the frame rate of the animation and also the exposure boost which is really going to affect those contrast ratios I also always leave the setting on plus three. Now, let me walk you guys through the exact settings I've been using to get the results you've been seeing on my Instagram. Most of the examples I've posted to Instagram have been using the paper three preset, but just know that each and every single paper preset affects color and texture in a very unique way. So play around, see which one you prefer. But for this, I'm gonna use the paper three preset to get the same results as I've been showcasing on IG. And honestly, guys, this already looks so good, but I'm going to show you all how to take it even further and get the most out of it. You'll want to pull back the threshold knob until we find the breaking point where we lose our blacks to that sweet texture. As you can see, the texture is now overpowering the dark areas of our image. That's exactly what we want. Now we're going to retrieve our blacks using the contrast slider while holding control on our keyboard. And as you can see, that's going to allow us to precisely adjust the roll off of the textures in the darker areas of our image. Doing so will ensure our footage is being textured evenly, no matter the exposure. I think this looks absolutely beautiful already. We could hit confirm and I'd be happy, but now let's unlock our RGB channels and let me show you how you can precisely adjust how the ground is being applied to each specific color. If we mess around with our blue channel, you'll see the green and red becomes much more apparent. This part is really going to differ from a clip to another, but just know you can edit the grunge based on the color channel itself. As you can see, there are not too many buttons. The plugin is super intuitive and that's exactly the way I meant it to be. And now it's just a matter of creating your own look, browsing the different paper presets and adjusting the stretch and scale values. Xerox is all about precision, so you'll be able to nail the exact look you're going for. But here's the final result of this clip filtered through the Xerox plugin. What I love most about it is that no matter what you throw at it, it's always going to look good. Just look at this being applied on motion graphics. I especially love the way it renders gradients with that sweet printer texture and color. If you still haven't grabbed yourself a copy, once again, make sure to check the first link in the description down below where you'll find the Xerox plugin alongside all of my other tools and assets. But yeah, guys, that'll be pretty much it for today. I hope you all enjoy and I can't wait to see what you guys create with this plugin. And on that note, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.